Okay, so we've got our Chromebook here. This is a high-end Chromebook. Um, the reason we've got this Chromebook is we're starting a whole series on are the Chromebooks ready for uh, business, for production. In our specific case, we're looking for, will, will Chromebooks be able to be used in healthcare? Can they be secured, patched, updated, uh, HIPAA compliant, in other words, uh, for use in medical practices? Um, they're fairly inexpensive. Uh, this Chromebook here was one of the more high-end ones. It was under $500. It was like $450. Bucks. It's a Lenovo uh, C... Let me see here. Where, where's that model? It's on... Here's the box. So... No! So here's the box it came in. I, should, I was going to unbox it, and I forgot to hit record, and so I'm doing this over again. Uh, this is a C340-15. Now, I wanted a bigger one. My doctors, most doctors, are older... Uh, maybe don't have as good a vision. So I wanted a 15 inch screen minimum. Um, I know at least one of my doctors that's older uses a smaller screen. He seems to be fine with it. So it's really up to your, whatever your doctors want, but the bigger screens are gonna cost more. Uh, and this is an expensive Chromebook. Uh, so the first thing you, you know you notice is like for 450 bucks, it's a pretty nice laptop. I mean, it's, it's nothing really uh, uh, to write home about, but this one here is reversible. So it should have stylus capabilities. Um, I did order the stylus, it did not come with one, which is kind of disappointing for a reversible uh, laptop that supports a stylus to not come with one. Uh, but I did order the stylus, it's not here yet. It is a Pentium Gold processor. I don't know what a Pentium Gold processor is right off, haven't done a lot of research on that. Uh, it has a couple of USB ports, but not a whole lot there. Um, it's got 10 key built into the keyboard, 15 inch screen. Uh, it's a little heavier than I had anticipated. I, I feel like this laptop's probably every bit as heavy as a, a, a laptop, a, a equivalent Windows laptop, if not heavier. Very surprised at how heavy it is, but um, you know, it, it is a Chromebook. Maybe it's more durable. I don't know yet. And it is, it's, uh, it's pretty. It's pretty. It seems to be well made. It doesn't seem real cheap. You know, some of the low end uh, Acer laptops kind of feel a little flimsy, but if they work, and they, they accomplish the goal, we don't really care, you know? They, they should be, in, in general, we treat Chromebooks like they're disposable. Um, so for about 450 bucks, you can get this. Now you can go buy a Windows laptop for $450. It's gonna be probably a Core i3. It's gonna have Windows Home on it, which means that you're not gonna have any centralized control without upgrading that to Pro. Now, when you upgrade it to Pro, that's another $199, $200, whatever it is now to upgrade to Pro on a Windows Home laptop. Um, well, let me, let me restate that. That's the full retail price. I think the upgrade price may be $99 or something, but it's still, it's another $100. So if you buy a Windows laptop, let's say for the same price as you would have bought this for, uh, you're probably still gonna be out another 100 bucks, so 500, 600 bucks um, to do that. But what you have with a Windows laptop is you have all the management that has to go into that. Um, you need to have someone that puts antivirus on it, that monitors that, maybe content filtering, um, any kind of other agents you need to secure and restrict access on that laptop. Group policy, you need to have it joined to a domain and then use group policy to lock things down and set things like screen lock timer. With the Chromebooks, supposedly, we haven't dove into it yet, but supposedly a lot of that can be done through the Chrome management software. Um, we are gonna be getting that set up with a distributor here soon and uh, we'll dive in and see how that goes. And we'll, do, we'll show this uh, to everyone. Now, there's lots of IT companies that probably done tons of these videos on Chromebooks. Um, we're specifically looking at them for healthcare. And uh, can this replace what the doctors are doing today and can it save them money? Uh, if it can, great, we wanna move forward with it and start deploying them. And we've got several medical practices that we work with that we're gonna have these sent out to for them to use for testing and see if they like them. Uh, and they're, of course, excited about possibly saving some money. So on a Chromebook, one of the things about them is um, they have their own operating system, whereas you know a Windows laptop or PC has Windows operating system, which costs money. The Chrome OS comes preloaded. Uh, it's you know there's not a lot of, of cost, not a lot of frills to the laptops, um, but they tend to do the basic things well. One of the things that we want these to do is be able to connect to the servers at our client sites. So if you're a, a business that has terminal servers, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So they're also called remote desktop servers or maybe even Citrix servers or VMware, uh, I think it was called View, I haven't worked in it in forever, but some of those servers that give you the ability to remotely connect to either an application or a desktop through an RDP connection um, or an ICA if you're using Citrix. So, so can you do that with these? Yes, you can, we've tested that, it works well. We haven't had any real issues with it in just our base testing on a low-end Acer version of this. 
but can it work for all day usage? Um, is it going to be reliable? Is the battery life there? Uh, do you like the keyboard layout on this specific, specific model? And since this one's reversible, you know, is that even viable for the customers or do we just keep buying the education grade versions of these and this being more the, the professional grade? We're gonna try to dive into that and see what these really can do and if they can save people money. At the end of the day, if it can do everything we want it to do, save our clients money, uh, we're gonna get on board. We're gonna, we're gonna run with it. But if they don't and we find out that they don't have the flexibility our customers need, um, well, you know, it was a fun experiment. So uh, come back for part two of this. There's probably gonna be about five or six parts before we're done and uh, we'll let you know what we think. We've got a couple more products coming in. They're on order. We'll go through each one and do the pros and cons and. Uh, Go from there. Thanks. Have a great rest of your week.